Hello everyone. Today's video is going to be, sorry it's so hot in here, I've opened my windows and then I've shut my curtains because it's so hot in this room. So today's video is going to be a haul because I have been promising you a haul for ages and I haven't done it. So I'm going to start off with what I'm wearing. This is from Misguided. This was from when they had that £3 sale, I don't know if you'd remember. But yeah, this cost me £3, so this is what it looks like. I'll do like a try on clip too, but on the website now it's gone up to £20. They have loads of deals on at the moment because of like Love Island, so there's like codes you type in to like get 30% off t-shirts and all that sort of jazz. But yeah, this was £3. The next thing I got from Misguided was this leopard print shirt. This is a shirt dress, it has those tags in, are they the ones that you can like... Oh no, that's just a hangout. I got this in a UK 8 because this was like the only smaller size that they had left. It is really nice and long and the material is really nice. It's a like proper nice shirt material and I don't think like you get too hot in this. I paired this with cycling shorts and a cami top but I'm on button it so you can see the cami top like I liked having the white underneath but yeah I really love this shirt and I think it's so versatile you can wear it with shorts you can wear it with a skirt you can wear it with cycling shorts like how I wore it you can wear it with jeans and I don't know I just think this is so versatile and this was also £3 I'm not sure what the full price is of it but I'm gonna move on to Urban Outfitters so I got this spray from Mario Badescu it's a facial spray with aloe cucumber and root tea so I really love this it's so refreshing I'm gonna spray some on now and it smells so nice. The lavender one is so nice, but I prefer to use it at night. This, I feel like you can use it all like throughout the day. The lavender one is a lot stronger than this one, I would say. But I do know that this one was brought out before the lavender one. I haven't obviously picked up the other scent they do yet. I think that's rose water or something. But yeah, this is so refreshing. And this bottle was only £7. And then I got the Pixie Glow Tonic. And this was £10. I don't feel like I've seen a massive difference in my skin. But I got this toner because other toners that I get normally dry my skin out. But because this is a glow tonic... I thought that like it would be fine I do like it so far and it hasn't like dried my skin out so far so but who knew that you could get skincare products in Urban Outfitters because I didn't I then got these socks from H&M I work at H&M if you didn't know I got these because I get a discount on socks and well everything I get a discount on and they're going to be £6.99 but I think I pay like £5 something I don't know I then went into Bershka and I picked up some little bits so I got this gorgeous headband it really reminded me like it gave me Tommy Hilfiger vibes this was only sorry there's a motorbike going past this was only in 5 dollars I just think this is so nice it's got like the pictures on there to show you like what you can like do with it you can also like put it around your handbag but I'm gonna wear it on my head like I've got this one today this one is from Primark but I'll get into that in a sec but yeah I really am excited to wear this I probably wear it with like a plain outfit maybe a white cami some blue jeans trainers or sandals that would look quite nice probably a red lipstick then i got some earrings because as you all know i love earrings especially hoops these chunky hoops i've seen so many people wear them for such a long time they're like a real vintage goldy sort of hoop so i've been wearing the middle ones i just put them back on there so they look better to show you these were only 5.99 you get three pairs this is like the bigger hoop the medium and then the smaller one out of all of them i think the medium is probably my favorite because these are a bit thinner but this is like that nice thick one these look like you'd get them from like zara for like a tenner or something so i'm so impressed with those from Topshop, i finally picked up some doll beauty lashes because a couple of you said like recommended doll beauty so this is the doll beauty lash and this is in brook what i did was i googled to see if this pair was faux mink because i don't really want to be wearing mink i did want to try the new princess range but they didn't have that in top shop at the time and it's just easier when you're in the store to just grab it so that's why i just got these ones i think these are so gorgeous this is what they look like so they're just a real nice like fluffy girly lash and they were 10 pound and i feel like they're gonna last quite a long time i feel like i don't know they just look such good quality i'm gonna move on to primark so the things i got from primark i got these sunglasses and now these were two pound i believe were they, two pound? they were two pound and they're this tortoise shell they actually go with like my actual glasses but they're quite tight on my head because i've got real like i don't know i feel like they look weird but i just got them anyway because they were two pound i just thought they'd be cute like on the holiday or whatever then i got a pack of hairbands so i got this red one and then i got this flowery one the flowery one i'd probably wear with like a nice white shirt my sandals and shorts something like that i just thought these are so cute they're just so easy to bang on and like it looks like you've 
made an effort when really my washing my hair today and I let it naturally dry so that's why it's a bit of a mess. Then the next hair piece I got was I got these scrunchies. I just thought these are really cute if you want to put your hair in a bun and you want a cute scrunchie. I probably wear these with like a plain black or like white top or something. They go quite cute with the leopard print but I don't know if that's too much like brown going on up here. I just thought they were really cute colours. They were one 50. And then sticking on the leopard print theme, I got these like little hoops. These were two pound, and they feel really like squeaky. And yeah, I just thought they looked quite elegant. They looked, they didn't look like Primark. They looked like kind of things like Topshop would do. That's a bit for my sunglasses. Boring, but I get these every time I go into Primark. The earphones, because. I use them all the time. I just use my adapter to plug it into my iPhone 7. They're 150. They're really good. They last like months. And then the last thing I got was these sandals. So these were five pound, and this is why I got them because I saw some on Zara that are so nice, but they are like 30 pounds, and I'm not about to spend 30 pound unless they're well. They're probably really good quality from Zara, but I just wanted some of these to see what they look like. I don't know if they're going to make my feet look really chunky, but yeah. I got these. They had them in brown too, but the brown were like white, like this bit was white, whereas you can see that's like black. I don't know, I think they look really cute. Hopefully they look nice on and they're comfortable, because they are quite like hard, like, but <laughs> yeah, hopefully, I think they look cute with the leopard print, like with the leopard print shirt, maybe some shorts, like, I don't know, I think they look good, so cute in the summer. Sticking with the shoe vibes, I got these trainers. These aren't from Public Desire. These are my new babies. I wear these, like, every day. Well, when I can. Sorry, they're dirty on the bottom. But, yeah, I love them. They go with everything. I love the monochrome in the, like, with the lace. And they're a chunky trainer, but I don't think they're, like, a real ugly chunky trainer. Some of them are just horrible but I think these are well cute. I love the ones on Ego that had the different colours too. Yeah I just think they're really cute. I love the black and the white. I didn't know if to get the white but then I saw the black and I was like no. I was like I need them. They were £34.99 but I did get discount. Then I paid for next day delivery so do you want to really save anything? I'm going to move on to Zara. So I've been going on like these trousers for ages, saying I'm going to show you them. And I haven't. So these are these pale blue trousers. I got them in a medium, but I wish I sort of got them in a small because they are quite big. And I do plan on losing some weight, so yeah. They're such a nice colour. They got these like little, like the little pocket detail at the back, but it's not actually a pocket. They're in the Zara basic range but I think these are so sweet. I wore these with a bandeau. These were £20 but I got them with a gift card that Craig's mum got me and they're just so comfortable like it looks like you've made an effort when really these are just so comfortable like you just bung them on and they've got like a drawstring but you'll see that in the front. So as you will to see these are the trousers from Zara they are very big if I just show you from like the side. I don't know if you can see that <laughs> yeah they are really big so I think I should have got a small in these. I'll just tie them up to show you. They look quite wide on me, I think, but obviously I did wear them out. Quite good if you bloat, because I bloat. That's what they look like when they're tied up. By the way, the top I'm wearing doesn't go with what I'm wearing. I've got the little pocket details on the back. And yeah, they're really flattering, I think. They don't go tight at the bottom or anything, so. Yeah, I just think they're quite pretty. I think they're more of a, like a smarter trouser if you go for dinner or for drinks. So this is what the Primark Sammies look like with them on. Especially like if you're going out for the day, you know, you just want to wear something a bit more like girly. And I think this looks cute. Another thing from Zara is this t-shirt. So it just says ZA Woman Spring Summer 2018. Probably going to regret this in 2019 but I could always wear it as a pyjama top. But I got this in a size large because I find with these sort of tops from Zara, sometimes they can come up quite small, or not small, but they're just like smaller than you want. And like those sort of tops, I like to have them a bit bigger. Like, I don't know, like this top, I like, I like having things a bit baggy. And with Misguided, I feel like their size eight is a true size eight. But sometimes it can be a bit big, like on me. But with Zara, I find like their sizes are so small. 
like a small is like really small so I always like to get them because they're then a bit longer too like with me I like to wear cycle shorts with baggy tops and that so this is the Zara top so as you can see I just paired it with the cycling shorts from Pretty Little Thing I just love how these go together they look really casual but like you could just put like the bum bag with these chunky trainers like I just think this looks really nice yeah it's just a really nice like as you can see although it's a large it's not like drowning me like it just looks nice and baggy and like casual really goes nice with the cycling shorts the other thing I got from Zara was so I got this top I did get another top from Zara but it's in the wash so I'll put a try on clip in of it but I got this top I haven't yet worn this it says Monday's survival coffee and donuts and like this sums me up this was $7.99 this one was $12.99 I got this one in a large also I just love this. I think this is so cute. And you could wear this with like anything like a blazer, like leggings, like just dress it up. I have not yet taken the label out of this one. Obviously, you know. This is the Zara Monday, like the coffee one. As you can see, I think this looks really nice with the cycling shorts. Really nice colour together, the light blue and the dark grey. So yeah, again, although it's a large, doesn't drown me. And it's just long enough to like cover your bum when you've got cycling shorts on or leggings. You could just like tie it, like go like, you could tie it up like this, or you could like tuck it under your bra, or you could just have it like sometimes i just wear them like that so yeah that was the clothes and then the last thing i got from zara was this bum bag i've probably seen this on my instagram too i absolutely love this this was 20 pound but literally it's such good quality like and all this is like detailing as you can see it's actually got a belt and every single part of the belt has a hole so like you don't have to worry about puncturing a hole in it the only thing is that it's got this little chain and when you walk it sounds like you've got your dog with you and like you're walking it along so yeah there's that or it sounds like you've got a cat following you or something. I'm now going to move on to Pretty Little Thing. So with Pretty Little Thing, I got this bandeau top, or bandeau, however you'd like to say it. And this, honestly, I was so shocked at the quality. So I don't know if you're able to tell, but it's got like two lines down the side, like in the middle. And this is like a slinky material, and I was expecting it to be like that, like cotton material. I don't know what the material is called. Oh, it's polyester, but like elastine. This was £6, and honestly, this is so nice. I would say, though, that you need, like, a strapless bra or whatever, because if you wear a bra that you just pull the straps down like what i done, then it just keeps riding down. They do them in so many different colours. I highly recommend it. I'm going to get all the other colours, because it's perfect for summer. Sorry, I'm just sorting these legs out. Oh, my God. So I got these cycle shorts. These were £10, I want to say, £10, something like that. They're a really nice material, and yeah, they're like a light blue. On the website, it says light grey, but they're actually a light blue, so just be warned. And they're a nice, like, thick material. You can't see your knickers through them, whereas the other basic cycle shorts I have from Pretty Little Thing, you can see your underwear, so I would recommend getting this material. As you can see, it's, like, double-layered, so they are worth it. The other ones are £5, they're 10 pound but I'd highly recommend getting them ones. I'm gonna get the other colours of them because the other ones are not flattering at all. You can see your bum cheeks and your knickers and it just looks awful, trust me. So these are the cycling shorts from Pretty Little Thing. As you can see you can't see like your knickers or anything. You might be able to because I've got obviously a ring light on. But yeah so they come to like just before your knee. I like to wear them with a baggy top or something like that. Obviously I wouldn't wear them with like a top like this but I just like to like dress them down sort of thing or you think you can dress them up i think they look nice with cool trainers so yeah these are the light blue ones but they're classed as like light gray or something on the website so i've got these sunglasses from pretty little thing and i'm not sure how i feel about them i don't know if i prefer these or the ones from primark i just don't think that they suit me i think i look like a weirdo but like i like them for like I don't know, I just think they're cute, I don't know. They're very different to what I've ever worn before. I feel like if my hair was straight or something and I had my hair up, they'd look better. I'm not sure about the like material, like, I don't know, they're very plasticky, but they're very sweet. They're very, like, whereas the Primark ones, I prefer, like, the actual, like, I don't know if you were to tell. This is, like, a really weird material, like, look, can you see there? And then these are like more plastic. I prefer this quality to that quality. And these were £8, so 
it might sit in the bag. Who knows? The last thing I got from Pretty Thing, I haven't opened yet, but I've been wanting these for bloody ages, and they kept going out of stock on the website, so when they came back in stock, I ordered them straight away. These are the grey joggers that literally everyone and their mum owns. I got them in a small. Yeah, they said this But with these, if you pull the drawstring in, like from, the drawstring is like in, in them, pull it to like snatch your waist. And these were 20 quid, but I think that they're gonna be highly, highly worth it because I'm probably gonna be living in these like every day of my life. I think these would look so cool with the bando, my chunky trainers, this headband, I don't know. Like, I just think like, these can be worn casual or they can be dressed up and I just love the colour of them as well. They do them in different colours as well, so yeah. But I've been so excited to receive them. I'll just get them out. They're a really nice thick material. And I was going to order a medium because I knew that you could like pull the waist in but then I didn't want to risk it. They got the cuff bottom. And then I just think they're so nice. They'd even go nice with this coffee top. You could like, you could just like tuck it like under your bra or whatever to make it more of a crop top. Wear these chunky trainers, bum bag, good to go. And yeah. So I'm trying my stuff on here. I've just lowered the camera so you can see. Because otherwise it's far too like high. So these are what the tracksuit on look like on. As you can see, so they have the like, but here to like tighten them so you can like tighten them up and like have them as tight as you want and then but i will say that they're quite baggy i didn't know they was going to be this baggy but yeah i do really like them i would say to go like down a size because these are a small but i think that they still look really big on me so yeah you can see like around here they like really big yeah i would say to go down a size uh but yeah apart from that i love them so that is everything i bought recently yeah so i really hope that you enjoyed this video and please don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe and also if you'd like me to do any more hauls then please let me know because i'm always buying clothes and everything so but what i was going to say was would you like me to do like my next haul would you like it to be just primark or just pretty little thing or just misguided or whatever i really want to try some things out from miss pap as well and like rebellious fashion and those sort of websites let me know in the comments and i hope you like this video it's been a long time coming so yeah i'm gonna go try my new clothes on and yeah i'll see you in my next video thank you so much for watching bye I've already worn it, so you probably would have seen it on my Instagram. So it's this white top, and it just says Z. Oh God, it's inside.